Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Don Johnson. And I'm Terry Briggs. Here's what's happening in your city. The city's annual Memorial Day service drew a huge crowd at Grand Prairie's Veterans Memorial Park. State and city officials joined many veterans and their families to remember fallen servicemen and women. This year's service featured the unveiling of a new sculpture at the park, the presentation of a memorial wreath, and retired Air Force Chaplain Jerry Poteet recognized all the names of fallen Grand Prairie service members. Carl P. Swatley. There was also a 21-gun salute and a commemorative Air Force flyover. The city holds the service every year on the morning of Memorial Day. The Memorial Day service was the first of two such ceremonies to be hosted by the city this year. The next one will take place on Veterans Day in November. From your Parks and Rec Department, we love you. Oh, Appreciate you. all you did. We look forward to working with you for years and years to come. Grand Prairie is saying goodbye to its longtime library director. Kathy Ritterhouse is retiring after 34 years of service. Under her guidance, the city doubled the size of the Memorial Library opened two branch libraries, added computers along with digital resources, and greatly expanded programming for children. I think the library does a better job of serving its customers maybe than it did when we first when I first got here. Um, we were we were much we had a much smaller budget, we were much smaller, um, there was only one building. <laughs> um, we so I think and I think our staff is much um, much better trained and select and and even our selection process is much better. So I think in a lot of ways, um, it's improved. Ritterhouse says she plans to spend her retirement traveling, running and mountain biking, as well as volunteering in the community. Paying attention to warning sirens could be a lifesaver this time of year in North Texas. This is severe weather season when tornadoes are the rule, not the exception like the one that skipped through North Grand Prairie last spring. Emergency officials say that storm and the devastating twisters that hit Cleburne, Granbury, and now Oklahoma City should motivate us to get prepared. Like developing their disaster supply kit or their communications plan with them and their family or identifying where their safe location is either at home or at work. You can get more information about tornado preparedness on the city website at gptx.org. A fogging truck could become a familiar sound this summer as Grand Prairie faces a new mosquito season and the threat of West Nile virus. Last year, North Texas had the nation's worst outbreak of the virus with 36 fatalities, including one Grand Prairie resident. That's why the city is beefing up plans this year to fight the bite. Extra personnel are on the street looking for pools of standing water and treating them with insecticide to kill hatching mosquitoes. Nearly twice as many traps are being set up to catch mosquitoes and test them for the virus. A new laboratory is also under contract to provide much faster results. And the city is changing its response when a sample comes back positive for the virus. Ground spraying will be done in the affected neighborhood on Thursday night and again Friday night, weather permitting. A spray notice will be posted on the city's website, Facebook page, and Twitter account. The reverse 911 system will contact people living in the affected area. At this point, we really need people to develop a system of becoming aware of the city's uh, results that are going to be posted on our web page. And that can be either by you know, constantly checking in on our web page 
or our, through our Facebook page or through our Twitter account, but also if they are not currently have a home phone, we, need, we are asking them to come to the city's webpage and self-register the phone numbers that they would like to be contacted through by our automatic calling system. Cummings says there is no way to predict the scope of this summer's West Nile threat, but everyone can help by following these steps to fight the bite. Drain pots, buckets, patio furniture, and low spots in the yard. If you own a swimming pool, run the filter and treat for algae. Wear insect repellent that contains DEET because it works the best against mosquitoes. Avoid going out at dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are feeding. If you do go outside during those hours, try to wear long sleeves and pants. For more information about the city strategy and other tips, go online at gptx.org slash fight the bite. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you'll join us again next time.